Hey, I have to stay at work a little late today. Okay. Are you busy right now? Nah, just in the man cave playing Super Mario. Great. Can you start dinner? We have everything we need for lasagna. The directions are printed out in the recipe drawer. We have a recipe drawer? Yes, Richard. It's next to the silverware. Okay, and where's that? Seriously? Babe, you know I can't cook. I'm awful at it. Can't you do it when you get home? I have to work late. It won't be too difficult. You can text me if you have any questions. I don't know. I'm not really comfortable doing that. What if I burn down the house? Please, Richard. I've had such a long day at work. How about we just order something for tonight? I can call in a pizza from Freddy's and you can pick it up on the way home. Fine. Thanks, babe. And can you hurry? I'm pretty hungry. Hannah, you busy? Not really. Good, I need to vent. Richard is driving me crazy. He's literally the laziest person I've ever met. Yeah, but he's still a good man, right? You two are still happy together. I don't know. Okay, Georgia, when I said I wasn't busy, I assumed we were going to gossip about fun stuff. I'd rather not hear you trash your boyfriend. Sorry, I've been doing that a lot, huh? Constantly. It's just, he's so crazy making. Then why are you still with him? Because, I don't know. I like Richard, I really do. He's one of the funniest, most charming guys I know. But if you're not happy, then maybe it's time to call it quits. I'm not ready for that. Well, maybe you just need a distraction. Get out of the house once in a while. Probably. You know who just came back into town, don't you? Who? Ford. Ford? My ex, Ford? Yeah, I just ran into him last week. And he's looking good, by the way. Lost all that extra weight. What are you suggesting? I'm not going to have an affair with my ex. Did I say that? No, I just told you that he was back in town. He asked about you. And you told him I was in a relationship. Yes, I did. Is he? Try to think long and hard about why you would ask that question. But no, he's single. Okay. You two made a really good couple, you know. Back then, you didn't complain about him at all. Until he broke my heart. Because he moved, but he's back now? Whatever, obviously I'm not saying that you two should hook up or anything, but it would be nice to see him again, right? As friends? Maybe. Great, because I was thinking that the three of us should hang out sometime, platonically. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with that. Suit yourself. Just do me a favor, okay? What? Stop complaining to me about Richard. I'm done listening to it. I'll try. Hi, is this Georgia? Yes, who is this? This is Ford. Wow, it's been forever. It has. How are you doing? I heard you were back in town. I'm great. I'm a vet now. I have my own clinic on Farber. A veterinarian, really? Yeah, you know how much I love animals. I went back to school and worked my butt off, and now I'm living the dream. That's amazing, Ford. It really is. Thanks. You know, I'd love to catch up. Are you free today? No, sorry. I'm busy watching my boyfriend Richard play tennis. Oh, so you like tennis now? Uh, not really. Just here for moral support. Okay, what about this weekend? I don't know, Ford. Maybe some other time. I see. To be totally honest with you, Georgia, I know we have history, and I know you're in a relationship. All I'm looking for is friendship, that's all. Thank you, Ford. You must be really happy with Richard. I am. He sounds like a great guy. I'll see you around, Ford. I hope so. Georgia, I need your help. What is it? The guys are coming over today and we're going to watch the game. And you'll stay downstairs in your little man cave? Yep, we'll be out of your hair. Cool, so what's the favor? Well, you know the man cave, it's pretty grimy. Oh, I know, the whole place is covered in Cheetos dust and empty cans. Yeah, and I feel really self-conscious about it. You should, the room is gross. So, I was wondering, since you're home right now, would you mind maybe sprucing it up a bit? We don't want our friends to think we live in a pigsty. You're friends, Richard, and we don't live in a pigsty. I keep the rest of the house clean. Because you're so good at it, so it would be awesome if you worked your magic down there too. What do you say? I say no. I say hell no. I say do your own cleaning. But I can't. I won't be home in time to clean. I guess it's okay. I guess we can deal with all that Cheetos dust. I'm sure they won't judge us. If you don't care about it, then neither do I. 
Fine, I'll do it. But only because that mess is driving me crazy. Great, thanks, babe. This is a one-time thing, okay? Yeah, of course. And make sure you wipe down the sofa. It's pretty crusty. Hey, G, having a good day? Not really. Yeah? Any drama? Yes, Richard made me clean up his disgusting man cave and now his friends are over messing it all up again. Uh, pretend I didn't say that. I'm not supposed to be complaining about him, right? You deserve a night out. What do you say you come on a hiking trip up to Shasta Point? We can go in the evening and then watch the meteor shower. Really? That sounds incredible, just like old times. So you'll join us? Who's us? Me and Ford. Oh. Come on, it's over between you two, right? You're friends now. Yeah. And nothing will happen between the two of you because I'll be there too. It'll totally be a friend thing. Come on, I know you want to go. Okay, let's do it. Great, meet us at our usual trailhead at five. I'll be there. Hey, I just got here. Are you and Ford almost here? Ford is. He should be there pretty soon. But you're not coming? I'm so sorry. Something came up and I have to bail. Rain check, okay? No, you can't do that. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. But I can't go on an evening hike alone with Ford. What would Richard say? Don't think about him. Does he change his plans based on what you want? No, he never does. Why can't you and Ford have some platonic fun? It doesn't feel right. Listen, I trust you. I know that if you had any lingering feelings for Ford, you wouldn't act on them, right? Right. Then you should trust yourself. Have fun. You're right. He's pulling up right now. So you two will go on without me? Yeah. Perfect, have a great time. Thanks for a great night, I had so much fun. I did too, it was nice to catch up. You know, when I came back to town, I was really hoping to see you. I hated the way things ended between us and I missed you. I know you've moved on, but I really would like to be friends, if you're okay with that, of course. Yeah, I'd like that too. Great. But I have to ask you something. Sure. Don't mention anything to Richard, okay? About what? About our hiking trip. But nothing happened. I, I know, but I also know how Richard gets, and he wouldn't like it if he knew that it was just the two of us up there. I see, so he's the jealous type? I wouldn't say that. It's okay, I won't mention anything. Thank you. But we should do something later, as friends. Of course. Georgia, what's going on? I heard you went out on a date with your ex. What? No. So that's a lie? Of course it is. So you didn't spend the night alone in the woods with your ex, Ford? I did, but we're just friends, Richard. Really? And this was more than a week ago, right? If you two are just friends, why didn't you tell me about it? I I'm sorry, I should have. Georgia, this isn't like you. You've never betrayed me before. I didn't betray you, Richard. Yeah, but you saw this guy and then lied to me about it. What am I supposed to think? You gotta believe me. I didn't do anything wrong. You go on plenty of trips with your buddies and forget to tell me about them. That's not the same thing, and you know it. And whenever I come back from some trip, you always complain about it anyway. I never complain. Oh yeah, I stopped joining Dean and the others on their hunting trips because I always come home to you nagging me about drinking too much and spraining my ankles. Because you... Always sprain your ankles when you go hunting. It's a pattern. But I'm not stopping you. You can go on any hunting trips you want. Really? Even this weekend? Yeah, why not? Okay, I will. Thanks for the permission. You're still mad at me. Yeah. Did you talk to Richard? No, why? Because he knew about our trip together. He expects the worst. But nothing happened. That's what I told him, but he doesn't believe me. How did he find out about it? That's why I asked you. You sure you didn't say anything? Positive. I haven't even met the guy, so I couldn't have told him anything. But I think I might know who did. Who? I'm not sure. It's just a theory, but I think that Hannah told him. Hannah? Why would she do that? Isn't it obvious she wants to steal him from you? No, not Hannah. Think about it. When you complain to her about Richard, does she come to his defense? Yes, how did you know that? And she's the reason we were alone in the woods, remember? The whole trip was her idea, and she conveniently bailed at the last minute. That's true. But I don't think she would do that. She's my friend. 
Exactly. She doesn't want to steal your man away, but maybe if you had someone else in your life. I don't understand. She wants to be with Richard, but she also doesn't want to betray you. So maybe if she reignites the spark between us, it'll free her up to have Richard for herself. Everyone will be happy, right? You really think that's her plan? I don't know, but it makes sense. Look, do I still have feelings for you? Yes. And do I think you're happy with Richard? No, I do not. I'd love for us to have a second chance at things. I really would. But I would never do anything while you were with someone. I promise. Hannah, though, I think she sees all that and wants to manipulate you. You still have feelings for me? Yeah. Don't tell me you didn't feel anything when we were in the woods. It felt like old times, didn't it? Yeah. But despite that, I would never do anything. You're my friend now, and I'm okay with that. I just want you to be happy, and I think in her own twisted way, Hannah does too. This is a lot to process. I know. I could be wrong, though. I just want to tell you, as a friend, that you should keep an eye out for Hannah, okay? I really think she wants to have Richard for herself. Or maybe she's already seeing him. Huh? Has Richard been acting different recently? No, he's the same as always. So he hasn't been coming home late? He hasn't done anything suspicious? No. Good, then it's probably nothing. And Georgia, I'm sorry I told you all that. About my feelings, I mean. Pretend I didn't say anything. Okay. Thanks, Ford. Hi, honey. You left before I could see you. Yep. Gotta get an early start on my hunting trip. I know, but you may have forgotten something. What? A kiss goodbye? Your gear, your shoes, literally everything. Oh. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about that. I'm borrowing Dean's old stuff. Why? Because he just upgraded. He let me borrow his gear. Really? Yes. Why don't you believe me? Well, I don't understand why you'd borrow things that you already have. You know, Dean, his stuff is nicer than mine. Including his boots? Yeah, I'm borrowing everything. But Dean is twice your size. Don't worry about it, Georgia. You promised you wouldn't nag, remember? I'll talk to you later. Okay, good luck. I think Richard is meeting Hannah. Really? Right now? Yes, he said he was going on a hunting trip, but I could tell he was lying. Okay, follow your instincts, Georgia. If you think something's wrong, then it usually is. So what do I do? Let me help. I don't have anything else to do today. Maybe I can drive by Hannah's place and see if Ford's car is in her driveway. Really? Could you? For you? Anything. Bad news? Richard's car isn't at Hannah's. Why is that bad news? Because Hannah's car is gone, too. I think they're together somewhere, but it's not at her house. Maybe, but how will we be able to track them down? I don't know. Can't you do something to find their cell phone location? I'm not a policewoman, Ford. I wouldn't know how to do that. And you don't think Hannah will tell you where she is? Obviously not. Okay, maybe we can try something else. Can you message Hannah and trick her into sending you a photo, like a selfie or something? What good would that do? It might give us a clue as to where they are. Sure, I can try that. Hey Hannah, how's your day going? I'm good. Wanna come over, please? I can't, sorry. I'm a little tied up right now. Yeah? What you doing? Who you with? I'm actually alone right now, doing some meditation. Really? You? Yep, I needed a break. I don't believe that. What? Why would I lie? Because you've never meditated before. Yes, I have. I'm not lying. Sure you're not. Honestly. Yeah, the only way I'll believe that is if you send me a selfie. Fine, I'll do it. One second. <coughs> See, that's me. All alone. Got it. Thanks. I just talked to Hannah. And? She said she was alone, but she got really defensive about it. She was acting pretty suspicious. Did you get a photo? <laughs> Interesting. Is it? Because I can't tell where she is. She looks like she's in some kind of cabin. It's not a cabin, Georgia. It's a room at Wolf Lodge. Wolf freaking Lodge? Are you sure? Yes, I recognize the background. Do you see the wood paneling? The oil painting of wolves? Trust me, Georgia. They're at Wolf Lodge. I stayed there this summer. God, that place is so expensive. They just remodeled it and everything. Richard would never pay for us to go there. I know. I'm sorry. 
He's not just cheating on me, Ford. He's cheating on me with my best friend and the most expensive hotel in the country. You're upset. That's the world's biggest understatement. I'm furious, Ford. I'm freaking apoplectic. He is not going to get away with this. We should go over there, catch them in the act. Agreed, but actually, I think I should do this by myself. You sure? Yes, I know exactly how to handle this. Okay. And Ford, thanks for being there for me. Of course, I feel awful that you had to find out about this. But always know that I'm here for you, and if things end with Richard, I can be your shoulder to cry on. Or maybe something more. If you want that, of course. Thanks. You know, I hate to say it, but maybe this is actually a good thing. I know it sucks to be cheated on, but it's about time that you get Richard out of your life, right? Right. Hello, Richard. You busy? Apparently you are, staying at the Wolf Lodge, huh? What? Why would you think that? I figured it out, Richard. You and Hannah? I think it would be best if you came out of whichever room you're in. I'm in the parking lot right now. I'm not there, Georgia. I recognize your car, Einstein, and Hannah's. Come out now so we can talk. <laughs> nope, I'd rather talk to you face to face. And if I don't come out, you're not going to knock on every door, are you? I don't need to. I have this. <laughs> All my hunting gear? Yep, the stuff you stupidly left behind when you were making up your ridiculous alibi. It's all pretty expensive, too. It would be a shame if I set fire to it all, piece by piece, until you showed yourself. You'd start a fire in the parking lot? <laughs> Already did. Fine, I'm coming out. Don't hurt me. No promises. What happened? Did you find them? I did. Richard and I had a long chat outside the lodge. And? It's over between us. I dumped him. Good. And how did he react? He literally started crying. He admitted to everything. I guess they started seeing each other about a week ago. He said he only agreed to meet with her after she convinced him that you and I were sleeping together. She lied to him about us, and that started everything. But he has feelings for her now. He wants to stay with her. And did you see Hannah? She stayed in the room. Wisely. How are you feeling? Fine, I guess. They deserve each other. So what's his plan? He's going to clear out his stuff and move in with her by the end of the week. After that, I'll never see either of them again. Wow. Wow, indeed. Thanks again. I wouldn't have figured any of this out without you. It's the least I can do. I'm just happy that you know the truth and you're finally free from him. Honestly, I am too. Would you like to have dinner? I'm sure you want someone to talk to. I'd love that. Georgia, hello. I'm coming over to help Richard load up all his stuff. I see. No hard feelings, okay? I'd hate to lose you as a friend. Well, you already did. You can help him move his stuff from the curb. You're not allowed inside my house anymore. Come on, don't be like that. Or better yet, let him move the damn boxes himself. It'll be good for him for once in his life. He'll have to do something for himself. Okay, I know you're mad at me, and I totally understand that. But you have to understand the logic in our plan. Me and Richard are a much better match, just like you and Ford. Y you gotta see that, right? Ever since you and Richard got together, all you do is complain about him. Everything he did annoyed you. You couldn't appreciate him the way I can. Please stop trying to justify yourself. But it all works out, right? I mean, the happiest time of your life was when you were with Ford, right? Now's your chance to be happy again. So I should be thanking you for sleeping with my boyfriend? No, but... You should see that this is a win-win situation. When we decided to start this whole plan, we knew that it would have a happy ending for everybody. I wouldn't have gone after Richard if I hadn't known that Ford would be right there for you. We? When we decided to start this whole plan, who's we? Oh, me and Richard. I see. Please don't be mad, Georgia. Don't call me again. And if I see you near my house, I will call the police. Do you understand? Yes. Hey, I heard Richard just moved out all his stuff. He did. I'm sorry again, it's just awful. It is. But you have to be at least a little relieved. Why would I be relieved? Because Richard was a lump. Don't tell me you're sad that he's finally gone. No, I'm not. Good. 
Now, I know how hard breakups can be, and I really don't want you to be alone in that big house right now. Can I come over? No, Ford. Okay, well, can we meet somewhere? Just to talk. Have another dinner? I'd rather not. Okay, take all the time you need. Thank you. But I hope you know that I still like you. And I think we can make a good couple. Once you're ready. I used to think that too. But you don't need more? No. Okay, I assume that this is your post-breakup anger talking, but maybe after a while you'll reconsider. I'm always here to take your call. I'm not going to call you, Ford. Look, I'm not like Richard. I'm a good man. I care about you. Do you? Do you really care about me? I do. And you'd never manipulate me, right? What are you talking about? I thought that you were on my side, Ford. I thought that you were helping me figure out that Richard and Hannah were together. I thought that Hannah had betrayed me because she's a terrible friend. But that's not true, is it? No, she still cares about you. I know she does. The only reason she acted on her feelings with Richard was because she knew that you and I would make a better couple. That's what she said. She said it was all part of a plan, and she used the word, we. Yeah, her and Richard. I don't believe that for a second. Richard isn't smart enough to go grocery shopping, let alone concoct some elaborate plan. Plus, he was clearly surprised when I caught them at the lodge. No, Ford, when she said we, she meant you and her. You've been working together this whole time. What? You can't be serious. She wanted Richard, you wanted me, so you teamed up. And it almost worked, too. I almost fell for it. No, come on! Admit it now, or I'll block your number and never talk to you again. Ford, you there? Fine, I was in on it, but you gotta admit, you and I are good together, right? Th that's true, right? I would never date someone who tricks me into loving them. How did you figure it out? When I showed you Hannah's selfie, you knew right away it was at Wolf Lodge. Yeah, I recognized the background. That's what you said. You said that you'd stayed there over the summer. But that's not true, is it? Wolf Lodge was closed this summer because of the renovations. Okay, maybe I stayed there before the summer. I just got the date wrong. Renovations, Ford. If you stayed there before the renovations, then you wouldn't have recognized the background at all. It would have looked different. The only way you knew they were at Wolf Lodge was because Hannah had told you. It was part of your plan. You wanted me to find them there. Okay, you got me. But this doesn't change anything. I love you, Georgia. You love me. We can be together now. Just forget about the past. I'd rather be single. <laughs> This all happened a few months ago. Hannah and Richard are still living together, but I've heard through the grapevine that they're probably not going to last. I guess Hannah never believed all the stories I told her about Richard's laziness until she had to experience it herself. Living with that man is extremely hard, trust me. And it's only a matter of time before she kicks him to the curb. Ford is still in town. I drive by his vet clinic on my way to work. I guess he's doing okay. But the last time I saw him, from a distance of course, he seems to be putting on some of the weight that he'd lost over the years. I don't know. On one hand, I really think the two of us would have been great together. We really do have a lot in common, but on the other hand, I could never be with a man who would manipulate people like that. I deserve better. So for now, I'm still single, and I'm happier than ever.